Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Um, this isn't a prediction video, it's just information. There's a great article today, September the 10th, 2013, on an excellent website. It's one I check all the time, called EastSideBoxing.com. Again, that's EastSideBoxing.com. And they point out that seven days before uh, this Saturday's upcoming fight between Floyd Mayweather and Saul Alvarez, they had the WBC's mandatory seven-day weigh-in. Now, subscribers here know that I'm obsessed in this fight with stamina. And I believe that weight and fitness impact stamina. Well, Saul Alvarez came in at 157.4 pounds. Keep in mind the catch weight for this fight is 152 pounds. So that means Alvarez is going to have to lose 5.4 pounds in the last week before this fight. So you have a guy who was an excellent fighter who has been a championship trainer John the Iceman Scully commenting on the 5.4 pounds that Saul Alvarez has to lose. And all I can say is Scully is of the mindset, as am I, that because of the weight issue, Floyd Mayweather will probably be the stronger man in the ring the second half of the fight. And so uh, Scully, in an excellent quote, talks about how Canelo is going to go through a week of hell to lose that 5.4 pounds. And let me quote him. I'm reading straight from eastsideboxing.com. He says, if you ask any prize fighter what they've done the week of a fight just to lose a couple more ounces off of their body, they will tell you some ridiculous things. I know because I've done it all. Fighters will get haircuts. They'll shave their chest hair, leg hair, arm hair, and pubic hair just to try to get rid of any unnecessary weight off their bodies. Ask any fighter who's had to lose weight and they'll tell you they've done all of the above. Now let me just say, I know there were those who want you to believe that it's not a big deal to lose 5.4 pounds the week of a fight. Let me just ask you, we know that these 12 round championship fights, and keep in mind there's a crowd element, you're on stage, you're not even performing in isolation, right? You don't have the benefit of pacing yourself in private, you're pacing yourself in public. Right? Added stress. Added drama. We know that these 12 round championship fights are like marathons. Right? Some guys just fall apart late. Now all I'm saying to you is this. And let's use common sense. If you're scheduled to run a marathon Saturday night, is that the week that you want to lose 5.4 pounds? Is that the week that you want to weaken your body by taking in less calories and by not drinking a lot of water? Right? How many of you believe that you'll do better in a marathon if you dehydrate your body before the marathon? Right? It's a farce. And so for all of those people who now are going to say, oh, look, Canelo only has to lose 5.4 pounds. I say you're kidding yourselves. I'm expecting Canelo to come in the ring without chest here, without underarm here, right? Without pubic here. He's going to have to do whatever it takes to lose that weight. And keep in mind, when you're, when you're running a marathon, 
There's no championship boxer standing across from you trying to hit you upside the head. Right? Think about it. You wouldn't starve yourself before running a marathon. And when you run a marathon, no one's trying to knock you out. So, looking at Saul Alvarez, I understand. At the start of the fight, he's going to weigh more than Floyd Mayweather. Is there a harder boxer to catch in the ring than Floyd Mayweather? Guys, Mayweather's going to be alert the first six rounds of this fight. Good luck for heavy Saul Alvarez to catch up to Mayweather the first six rounds of this fight. Then I'll tell you what will happen the last six rounds of this fight. You're going to see a dehydrated fighter huffing and puffing. Just like you and I would be huffing and puffing the second half of a marathon if we starved ourselves to lose more than five pounds the week of the race. Right? And while Alvarez is huffing and puffing, Floyd Mayweather, who no doubt is going to spend this week eating steak, having fun, knowing that he's already at weight, Mayweather's going to be using some of the fastest hand speed and deepest reservoirs of boxing knowledge to literally try to take him out. Now, I've said before, I believe Mayweather by stoppage is a distinct possibility. I'll tell you what, the odds on that have increased, given that Alvarez is still more than a couple of pounds above the weight. Let me say this too, as you watch the weigh-in, and you always want to, as you watch the weigh-in, I want you to see how fast Alvarez reaches for a bottle of water after he gets off the scale. Quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised, given that both of these guys are making millions of dollars. If Alvarez doesn't simply agree to pay the penalty for coming in above 152 pounds, I don't think the Mayweather people care because they already know that Alvarez has had to punish himself just to get to the 157.4 pounds where he is right now. Right? I encourage everyone to read John the Iceman Scully's comments. Forget my comments. I'm just another hack here on YouTube. But listen to the comments of a championship trainer. A guy who was the trainer for light heavyweight champion Chad Dawson and talking about what Canelo's weight means right now. Those 5.4 pounds, they're going to be a big problem, especially when you're in against a mobile opponent. Don't confuse fighters who are fighting stationary guys with guys who are fighting mobile guys. You have to be in shape to fight Floyd Mayweather. I don't think Canelo is. Let me hear from you. Let me just point out, I think Mayweather wins the fight, but do sprinkle a little bit on the under because the casinos inexplicably are giving you 11 and a half rounds. 11 and a half, right? And you're dealing with a fighter, Canelo, who in the past has had a problem fighting more than a minute and a half of three-minute rounds. He's going to try to take time off. How's he going to do so in a ring when there's no place to hide? Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by. Canelo, seven days before the fight, was 5.4 pounds over the agreed-upon 152 Wait, thanks for stopping by.